Hello dear KSA 2025 aspirants. So there is no doubt that and I know all of you might be knowing that previous year questions are the most important resource to crack any exam or to even crack the KSA 2025 examination to get into top 1000 rank. You cannot afford to uh, ignore the previous year questions, right? But what is the right way to solve previous year questions? When you should solve previous year questions? How many questions you need to solve? What are the mistakes you need to avoid? What are the tips that you should follow? What should you do after solving previous year questions, right? So nobody talks about this. So in this video, I have come up with a detailed strategy about how you should exactly solve your previous year questions. What should be the correct method of doing that, okay? So this is going to be very, very important uh, video because many of you might be solving previous year questions but this is the way how you should do it so that you can get the top thousand rank okay so please watch this complete video mark the important points note down it and make sure that next time whenever you solve previous year questions follow these tips and avoid these mistakes okay so let's get started now first of all uh, because we are solving KSET previous year questions, so we'll have a small glimpse on the exam pattern of KSET. Okay, so mode of the exam is offline, definitely. Questions are MCQs, that means for every question, you'll be getting four options. You need to find the correct option out of that. And in each subject, there will be 60 questions, so you have three subjects P, C, M. Next, uh, total mark for each subject is 60 marks. Each question carries one mark, and there is no negative marking here. Now time duration for each subject is 80 minutes. The rank determination depends 50% of case set and 50% of your PU board marks. Okay. So I hope till now all of you might be very, very familiar with the case set exam pattern. But yes, once again, we just revise that. Fine. Now we will come to importance of PYQs in KSET 2025 preparation. I know there is no debate about this. There is no uh, point of discussing this. But yes, we, we all know why it is important, how it is important. But yes, we often forget that, right? So here this slide is, this point is to remind you about the importance of PYQs. So the first and the most important thing is it helps you to understand the exam pattern. Like how many questions will be asked. So uh, uh, understanding the exam pattern is very important before writing the examination. So that is what PYQs help you. Second, identify the high weightage topics. If you see the previous year questions, you can know which chapters are more important in a particular chapter, which topics are more important. Okay. Third, it tests your preparation. If you have prepared the chapter and if you are able to solve the previous year questions, then it is more uh, likely that in the real exam also you will be able to solve the questions, right? So it is a test that what is your level of preparation. Fourth, builds confidence. So when you uh, solve previous year questions, you get a confidence that, okay, uh, this type of questions were asked in the previous year and I'm able to solve these type of questions. So in this exam also, if certain uh, such type of questions are asked, I will be able to solve the question and that gives you a motivation that you will do well in the examination and you prepare more uh, wholeheartedly for the exam. Okay, last is your a key tool for top rank. So as I told you previous year questions, no doubt are the most important resource to crack any exam. So definitely we should follow, we should practice PYQs, but in the right way. Okay, so now coming to the step by step guide, how you should do the chapter or do the previous year questions. Step number one is to select a chapter. Okay. So you need to select first, I'll be talking about these steps in detail. So just let us read the steps now. Step number one is to select a chapter. Step two, clear the concepts. Step three, gather the previous year questions. Step four, use timed practice. Solve in exam conditions. And last one, in analyze your mistakes. Okay. Now let us dive into these steps in detail. First is select a chapter. Okay. So begin with the chapter and solve the PYQs related to it. So how will you select the chapter? You need to select the chapter based on the weightage. Okay. So first you need to select those chapters which are having high weightage. And for case it, all the PU2 chapters are very, very important. So you must at least complete the previous year questions of PU2 chapters. Okay. Next, you should do at least 5 to 10 years of PYQs based on the time. If you have, have enough time, then go for 10 years. 
Now this helps you to understand the concept and shows how K-set frame questions. Okay. Now you can use uh, like just example. You can see ten years of questions we have done in the channel. You can definitely refer to these videos. Okay. Next step is clear your concept. Now if you directly jump to the previous year questions without uh, learning the concepts, then definitely you will not be able to solve the questions. And if you are not able to solve the questions, your moral will be down, you will be demotivated and you will not be uh, willing to solve previous year questions again. Right. So that is why make sure that first you master the concept. At least 50 percent accuracy should be there while solving the case at PYQs for first time. Okay. Means if you have read the chapter correctly, I have made a video on how to read a, read a chapter for case it, you can watch that. So if you have read the chapter properly and then you, if you are solving the questions, if you are able to solve 50 percent or more questions correctly. Okay, then definitely you have read the chapter properly. But if you are not able to solve 50 percent questions correctly, then there is some problem in your concept understanding or in completing the chapter. Okay, so make sure that you should get at least 50 percent accuracy while solving the questions. 50, 60, uh, 70 more uh, percent accurate better it is. Okay, so that will tell you whether you have read the chapter correctly or not. I saw many comments uh, during the live sessions regarding uh, that you have seen all the videos, you have come, uh, you have done the concepts, but you are not able to solve the previous year questions. So that is because what can be the uh, problem with this? That is because you haven't studied the chapter properly. Okay, so that is what you need to do while reading the chapter make sure that you are able to solve at least 50 percent of questions okay next is gather pyqs this is very very important you should have previous year questions of case so we have very important publications here disha and you can go for uh, there's a uh, IBA uh, publication is there, they also have case set questions, Disha publication is there, MTG is there or your own channel Diksha Karnataka is there. Okay? Here you can go to our playlist, you can see that uh, we have previous year questions for all the subjects and we are solving at least 30 questions from all the chapters for, uh, considered from the last 10 years. So that is that can be also a very good resource for you people. Okay? So first step you have to select a chapter done on the basis of weightage. Step two you have to read the chapter clarity of the concept should be there. Step three you have to gather the resources and next is your used time practice. So now you need to sit and do questions solve the questions but make sure that you need to do in a timer you have to set a timer to replicate the exam conditions. So if you are doing 60 questions in 80 minutes you should solve it. But if you are doing previous year questions make sure first one should be your topic wise previous year questions chapter wise okay or I can say chapter wise you should solve and every chapter you can expect 30 questions okay so for 30 questions you need to give 40 minutes okay that time duration is fine okay next coming to uh, solving in exam condition what does that mean you should not use calculators right this is very important because in your pew board you are allowed to use calculators so most of you are used to use calculators so make sure that you avoid calculator while solving case questions Okay. Next, do not see the solutions. First, suppose you have done the chapter and you have 30 questions. First, solve that 30 questions, finish it, then check the solutions. Do not in between go check the solution and then do it. Please do not do that mistake. When you are doing, it should be done under exam conditions with proper time, without calculator and no solutions in between. Okay. So, after that, this is very important. Once you are done with the syllabus or once you are done 30 questions you have solved. Okay, I am talking in terms of chapter wise PYQs. You have done 30 questions. Now it is very important to analyze your mistakes. So you will be having answer key. Put check the 30 questions correct wrong correct wrong just check it gives yourself a score. So out of 30 if you are getting 15 plus okay then definitely the chapter you have some grip and you need to work on it. But if you are getting below 50 percent you need to restart your preparation for that particular chapter you need to read line by line you have to master the concepts again okay. So what you should do 
while analyzing okay look for the recurring concepts and question types like for example in electrochemistry you often get numericals organic chemistry you get conceptual questions and in electrochemistry also you will get more questions from equilibrium constant formula and that is what you will analyze now if you see our videos on pyqs especially for chemistry you will see the questions are divided on the basis of topics for electrochemistry there is first galvanic cell then the topic is nernst equation then the topic is hydrogen electrode then you have faraday's law commercial battery so it is divided chapter wise so when you do questions make uh, understand that which particular topic more questions are asked okay so when you do, do revision and all you need to focus on these important topics next second one is very very important make an error notebook okay this is important many students do not do this they do not follow this and because of which they do not improve in the in their preparation i'll tell you now how to prepare an error book you can see here okay so i have suppose solved today 30 questions from uh, electrochemistry okay so i will write here question number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then i'll put whether it was wrong or correct if it is correct that is fine but if it is wrong i have to put chapter name the question this was from the nernst equation it became wrong the question that i did wrong was from nernst equation and what was the reason for that formula error okay i didn't write the formula of nernst equation correctly so now now i know that if i have solved 30 questions from electrochemistry nernst equation is the topic in which i did mistake right so i need to go revise that formula do more questions on nernst equation and then strengthen that particular topic okay you in uh, if you are having time you can do another way so this this side left side of your notebook you are writing these thing on the right side you can note down the questions note down the wrong questions this is very important okay this is also mandatory if your notebook is like this left side do the analysis of 30 questions right side note down all the wrong questions and when you do revision revise these questions must okay so how arrange structured it is you know if i want to revise electrochemistry these are the questions that i have done wrong and these are the questions that i should practice again okay so beautifully you can uh, manage everything you can focus on the weak areas and this is how you will improve okay so these are the six steps that you need to follow for solving previous year questions first you need to select a chapter second you need to read that chapter concept should be clear cleared third you need to gather the resources for pyqs fourth you need to set uh, solve the questions in exam conditions fifth is you have to analyze the test okay analyze your preparation i think i yeah you have to use time practice and solve in exam conditions that comes under same category when same thing you have to do here okay now i'll be telling you some best tips that you should follow while solving previous year questions okay these are the I'll say whenever you do, make sure that you follow these tips. Okay, so the first one here is solve in phases. Means solve in phases means. So what you can do is, you first go for chapter wise PYQs, then go for full length papers. Okay, do not like one chapter is over. Do its PYQs first. Chapter wise PYQ. Second chapter is over. Second chapter previous year question should be solved. Okay. Next one is focus on concept clarity. Okay, do not just so the questions which you get wrong. Do not try to mug up its solutions. Try to understand. Try to uh, clear that concepts and make sure that you have understood that concept properly. Okay. Next one is incorporate PYs into your weekly plans. So whenever you are studying, suppose you have the target. Suppose we are giving you weekly challenge, right? So this week challenge is what? aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid i hope all of you are following our weekly challenge if not go there you can check in our channel 100 hard challenge for kset 2025 so if you are following that challenge so suppose this week target is aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid so you know not only you have to follow the uh, what i'll say um, videos you have to co complete the lectures but also you need to solve the previous year questions so in this week of seven days you have to put one day for solving previous year questions okay next keep a record of mistakes that is what i told you error notebook is mandatory today those students 
who are preparing for KSET and want top 1000 rank, please go to the market and purchase an error notebook right today. Okay, and comment down that you have purchased the error notebook. Let me see how many of you are really serious about your preparation. Okay, next revise regularly. So, these wrong questions that you will be writing in your error notebook that you need to revise regularly. Okay, so these are the tips that you can follow to solve the case set questions. So, first step is you need to solve in phases. Once the chapter is done, you need to do its previous year questions. Second thing, focus on the concept clarity, no need to mug up the solution, understand it. If you are not understanding, ask your friends, ask your teachers, or check in internet, but understand the concept and then get satisfied. Okay. Third, incorporate PYQs into weekly plans. Fourth, keep a record of mistakes. This is very important and this is where people, students do mistake. They do not have a, suppose I will ask you, okay, you did electrochemistry chapter, right? You solved the PYQs. Tell me which are the questions that you got wrong or which are the topics that were, uh, that you are weak at. You will not be able to tell if you do not have this error notebook. This is very, very important, okay? Next one is revise regularly. Okay, so now we'll go the next thing that is some mistakes that you should avoid while solving the questions. Okay, so these mistakes you must avoid. First one is skipping analysis. Again, I told you error notebook is mandatory. Please students do not skip analysis. Make sure that you are making an error notebook at any cost. I want again, I'm reminding you those students who have watched this video, please purchase the error notebook today and comment down that you have purchased error root. And at the end of this uh, preparation, you will thank me for this solution and I know this will help you to improve your scores. So please students, please follow my this suggestion and buy an error notebook today only. Okay. Next one is ignoring weak areas. Okay, now after solving the previous year question, I came to know that okay, nurse equation is where I am getting stuck, I am not solving. Let me ignore this. This is a mistake that you should not do. What you should do? I came to know that wrong uh, nurse equation is where I am doing mistake. I will solve 10 more questions from nurse equation. Okay, I will take Comet K previous year question, I can take uh, some other reference book, I will some coaching material, case at coaching material and I will solve 20 more questions on nurse equation. I will not ignore it. Okay, that is the mistake that you must not do. Next one is over relying on PYQs. Many a time I have seen this question, ma'am, is K set PYQs enough to get top 1000 rank? See, dear students, I tell you every time this question I have received, I can say more than 1000 times I have answered this question. Many students have this doubt. See, Solving case it, if you see last 10 years of questions, you will have last 10 years of papers, you will have hardly 30 questions or some chapter you may get 40 previous year questions. Okay. Now, if you solve this 40 previous year questions, then definitely you have an understanding of what type of questions are being asked in that particular examination. Okay. But to master it, to make that you are accurate, your speed is there, you have accuracy and speed both you should also practice some more questions. Okay, previous year question is mandatory. That will give you an idea. But to improve your speed and to improve your accuracy, you have to solve some other questions as well. Okay, so use them as a tool, but also practice mock tests. Okay, next one is not revising PYQs. From where will you revise the PYQs? You will revise your PYQs from error notebook. Okay, so one time practice is not enough. So regularly revise the past questions, especially those you got wrong. Okay. So I want very seriously students, please make an error notebook. Today chapter is aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. First solve it by yourself. Okay. All the chapters PYQs are available in our channel. First solve it. If you have a book, first solve it. Then if you have doubt, please take our channel. You can download the PDF, see the question number, see the solution. Note down the mistake, note down these questions and later solve it again. Okay, if you follow these steps, avoid these mistakes, then definitely you will be able to improve. Okay, otherwise you will be doing everything, but there won't be any improvement. Okay, so yes students, that was a very important video on how to solve case previous year questions. 
please follow these tips then definitely you will improve thank you for watching and if you want more videos so please comment down your doubts i'll definitely address it we will give us topics on which you want video so that we can help you in the best possible way okay so subscribe the channel if you have found this video helpful and see you soon in the next episode